yeah, welcome back to the letters. This is trick trends, fads, gimmicks, weirdnesses, skateboarding insanity. What do you want to know? Get all mad at me because of you think something super fucking neat and I think it's lame. That's the beauty about skateboarding people. Get to do what you want, no rules, anarchy. <laughs> Trends, trending. Are you trending right now? Tricks go in cycles, Tr they trend. They, you know, somebody sees somebody do something and they get all excited and then they, another guy does it. And then what ends up happening is too many people jump on the fucking bandwagon and then it becomes the norm. When Grholsky did a Krell slide, that was cool. When um, Pick a Guy did it 15, 20 years later, 25 years later, you know, like, oh, I'm krill sliding on this ditch, or like, not cool. Other times, it's cemented in stone, and it's beautiful, and it's timeless, and it stays that way to the end of the time. I'm sure if you talk to some of the 70s guys when they first saw, like, somebody like Gelfin show up and do the front set ollie, they were laughing at the dude because the guy's trucks were so tight he couldn't carve. I'm probably guilty of the worst maneuver in all of skateboarding. The roast beef air. That's right. It's actually called the Grossman air. I'm the asshole responsible for every kid launching over that orange pylon pissing you off at your local park. It's my fault. I couldn't do a stale fish. You know what a bad trend is right now? Convert dog land or bull rider land? God. The saran wrap has made a big comeback, right? It's dog shit. If you want to do a trick like that, just do a Sean Penn. Sean Penn. Good trends. Well, the shifty was a good trend, I thought. The most horrible trend in skateboarding ever was putting your hands on flat ground and kicking your board up the wall. The defiance of riding your board high speed straight at a wall and just bashing up it and then rolling, you know, just doing a wall ride was cool. Sheffy's like late shove, was it Sheffy, right? The late shove it, front all late shove it. You got some shit that's rad and then you got some shit that's not. The Benihana. Initially, stuff starts off with, a good with really good intentions. Somebody gets psyched on it and then everybody and their mother are doing it. Neil made everybody want to do inverts and everybody does inverts and then inverts are like the social pariah of skateboarding. Street plants in general were just infancy street skating, trying to mimic vert skating and doing it where you can do it, so. The ho-ho plant, which is probably the biggest fucking circus trick because Steve Schneer is a fucking freak. It wasn't good enough to do the ho-ho, now you gotta do it naked and I gotta sit here and watch this shit and lose to you sometimes, that sucks. I'm going to the bar. It just got so bastardized that um, then it becomes a bad thing. And then everybody wants to be different, so you have to stop doing that kind of stuff. And then maybe 10, 20 years later, 15 years later, whatever, you know, some cool flowing hippie kid throws a frontside invert and everyone goes, oh my God. And now we repeat the process. What's old is new, what's new is old. The, de -de 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 -de. the hippie jump started off as a joke. And how fucking rad and impossibly hard are hippie jumps? I don't know, because I can't do them but they look cool. Now, if everybody's doing hippie jumps, they lose their cool factor, and, they, and then they get relegated off into circus land. A bad trend would be um, somebody saying frontside indie. There's no such thing. The barrier, the Jersey barrier thing, right? That, that was a big trend for a hot minute there. It's, oh, yeah. It seems to have died off a little bit, but you know, when the Jersey barrier showed up, it was like, what can you do on the Jersey Barrier? Oh. Gator invented the backside stale fish. He did them for a couple contests or whatever, and then he stopped. And it should have never been done again. And breathe, one, two. There's tricks, and then there's things that are like, wow, that was cool and different. And then there's like, fuck you. I know what you're doing. That's bullshit. Progression, pushing it, 
making it your own. Boosh. Hopping over a little parking block as opposed to launching up one of those Lockwood benches and nose wheeling across, like that's just, that's a perfect example of showing the progression of it and how fucking insane it's gotten. Like Tony did the air walk, okay? Nobody wanted to do air walks until people saw Monty Nolder do his air walk, which is basically a Christ air. And then Christian mimicked Monty Nolder's air walk and put his little name on it because it made the crucifix. But Monty's the one that flew out seven feet out and went, ah, I can't hear. Then the street skaters got a hold of it and you got Nottis and those guys, like, you know, scissor kicking their way to glory and a six figure paycheck. We all love skating. <laughs> I'm your host, Jeff Grosso. This has been Love Letters. Yeah. Well, Losey did the finger flip invert. It was really cool, man. Like, is it Richie Jackson? Is he the one that dressed up like he was coming off a Jimi Hendrix album cover and then he waxed the ground, the two strips on the ground and did the pole jams and stuff? That was really kind of cool. The fucking attire was... Oh, yeah. You might want to go back and talk to Olsen. Because, Ol ah, bitch, invented that. And, you know, the alley 50-50. That's Steve Olsen. But everybody gives Schroeder the credit. Of course, I showed it Stacy Peralta, 78, Lakewood Halfpipe. Next thing you know, trick tips, Daryl Miller. Alley-oop 50-50, rock and walk. Rock walk, rock and walk, rock walk, rock walk.